Okay, I'm just trying out this uh, cheap solar panel I bought off eBay. I paid thirteen pounds for it, delivered. And I was thinking, comparing it to the Rav power, which was thirty five pounds delivered. I mean, what 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 is it you need from a solar power really? You need it to be able to charge whatever you want it to charge, be it a battery bank or your phone. And th there must be a limit to how much solar you can actually use to charge your stuff. I mean, a phone will probably only take one amp and five volts. The battery pack will take up to two amps and five volts. So to get, without spending loads and loads of money on solar setups, you want to try and get as near to that 5 volt, 2 amp as you possibly can for as cheap as possible and also uh, to be packable so that's the solar panel it's sitting on the window here there's no sun shining in the window uh, in fact that the sun will be behind the building at the moment if there is a wee bit of sun however it's still charging the phone. How much power it's put into the phone I have no clue. Probably outside uh, facing the sun it would probably put out a lot more power than it is at the moment which I'll probably test that soon. But is this all you need? A solar panel, it's about 16 inches by 6 inches. The actual solar surface. Uh, the rest is the border that's around it, so 16 inches by 6 inches is the actual solar surface. Now, that could be just all you need. Stick in the back of your bike on the back of your backpack even and it might be enough to charge your power pack up so these are the dilemmas we face when we're trying to create a, a charging system that will benefit us without overdoing it So I was using another phone, you can see the red lights on. The other phone's charging as well, just sitting at the window. No sunlight. Like I say, it may not be charging it, it may just be maintaining the battery. However, red light's good. I'll try it outside. So I'm trying out this, uh, this new solar panel I bought from eBay, cost me £13 delivered and we're just trying it, see if it'll charge the power pack. Uh, we've got a good bit of sun coming through these trees, let's see what the... So that's charging the power pack. How much? I don't know. But the RAV, the RAV uh, power, the uh, solar panel, that could charge without sun. How much that charged without the sun? I do not know. However, I suppose it depends on what you want to charge and 
how much power you actually use that would determine what sort of solar charging system you wanted to uh, build for yourself maybe a panel, one panel like this that's about the actual solar uh, surface is about 16 inches by 6 inches maybe a panel like that was, would be all you'd need or maybe two panels like that joined together two panels like that joined together would be a bigger surface than the RAV uh, and maybe that's what you would need so it really depends on what you want from your solar panel is it worth paying lots and lots of money to get more power than you need remember just your battery pack can only, only take 5 volts and 2 amps max now if you had a big system, bigger system that produced say, it'd need to produce 5 volts uh, or you couldn't plug it into your power bank well no a power bank like this anyway and it couldn't produce more than 2 amps because your power bank wouldn't accept that so you try to optimise the best you can do nearer the 5 volt 2 amp mark and bang for buck so it depends on what you want what you want to charge and how much power you use that will determine your solar, uh, solar charging system so this may be adequate just for bike touring for me but I'll do a few more tests with it to see uh, if it's adequate so I've taken it out of the the sun you can't see the sun down at this but uh, the panel's here rest on that thing And it's still charging. Well, it says it's still charging. We don't know how much power is going in it. Very little, I'd imagine. Uh, but it says it's charging. So the the thing is, the RAV power is thirty five pounds. That was on sale. This one's thirteen pounds delivered to your door. Is it as good as a RAV power? Probably not. Will it charge your stuff? It probably will. So that's a decision that you've got to make. How much panel do you need to charge your, your items? Remember, no panel's gonna be any good if the weather's not right. If the weather's bad, you as well plug in your stuff into a tree because it'll be work the exact same. So, that's what you've got to decide. Is it worth buying a, an expensive solar panel to make a charging system? Or is a cheap one going to do the job? 